Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to have a look at the Fornaf Runtime Packages. Fornaf Runtime Packages are a new way of setting up development, test, automated build, or production systems. To demonstrate how to use the Fornaf Runtime Packages, we will build a Docker demo system and run automated tests for an extension with a dependency on the Fornaf Report Pack. To demonstrate the Fornaf Runtime Packages, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step 2, I will discuss what runtime packages are. In step 3, I will build a Docker installation with runtime packages. In step 4, I will demonstrate an automated build and test script. Let's start with the first step. In order to use the Fornav runtime packages, you will need an installation of Business Central 2021 Wave 1. Runtime packages for earlier versions can be made available on request. This installation can be local or dockerized. You will need a valid Business Central license with the Fornav granule added. You will also need the Fornav Designer 6.0 or above if you want to design reports. The Fornav runtime packages are available for Fornav partners upon request. The Fornav runtime packages are an on-premise version of the Fornav cloud reporting extension. They contain everything you need to run, develop and test Fornav reports. The runtime packages will work in an on-premise or a Docker installation. The code base is exactly the same as the Business Central Cloud extension, which means that all the layouts and reports you develop using these runtime packages are guaranteed to work on Business Central Cloud. The runtime packages don't use the Fornav DLL, so they are easier to upgrade than the Business Central on-premise Fornav reports. Runtime packages are used in an on-premise installation where the customer wants to migrate to cloud or where you don't want the hassle of upgrading the DLL. They are also used for testing, demonstration and development of Business Central Cloud reports. Finally, the runtime packages are used in automated builds and automated testing. Now we know what the Fornav runtime packages are, we can set up a Docker system with a local Business Central Sandbox installation and the Fornav extension as, the runtime, as a runtime package. So for that, of course, I need a script in order to set everything up. So we'll be doing some PowerShell stuff today. And I've set up two scripts, one for uh, the demo system and one for the automated tests. We'll look at the demo system first. So if we look at this script, you will notice that if I take a bit more space here, you will notice that uh, first thing I do uh, with uh, this little bit of script here is to set up a, a Docker system. It's just a simple Docker sandbox system. So it just uh, grabs the, uh, uh, the basic uh, Docker sandbox from the BC artifacts. Uh, you can also do, use this with BC on-prem. So you can get the BC artifact for Business Central on-premise that will work just as well. But we'll use the sandbox for today. We set up a container name, we set up the credentials and the license files, and then we uh, spin up a new, new Business Central container. Once that is done, we add the fonts to the Business Central container, and adding the fonts to a Business Central container is done so we can demonstrate the reports and they'll actually look nice. If you, don't, if you skip this step, uh, you run a report, then uh, the reports are all rendered with the backup, uh, with the backup fonts, so they won't look as nice. So that's that step. And finally, uh, we install the Fornav runtime packages and they need to be installed in a very specific order. So first we need to install the Fornav language module. Then we need the Fornav core, which contains everything you need to do to, you need to uh, render the reports. Then we need the Fornav customizable report pack. And finally, um, we need an extension which is very specifically only for the runtime packages, which is the Fornav service. And you only need the service if you plan to do rendering of reports. So if you just want to do testing or just want to do development and you'll never be actually running any of the reports, uh, then you can skip the, uh, the Fornav service extension. For the purposes of this test, I have 
started my uh, my business my Docker system already. So I've built the Docker system. So I will uh, uh, I will uh, disable this bit of code to create the Docker container, and that's because it takes a long while to create these Docker containers, and we have other things to do today. So let's make this a bit bigger and run my script. So first thing it'll, it will do right now is install all of these uh, apps. And once that's done, uh, we can have a look at Business Central and see what has been installed and check if it all works properly. And of course, this stuff takes forever, even if you have set it all up and tested it beforehand. Uh, so what you see right now is that the, the extensions are starting to install. This particular warning, the package has been built on a server with a different version and the current version is just a warning. It doesn't matter. Uh, these runtime packages are built with a specific uh, Business Central version. We can, you can install them on any version as long as your major version is correct. So I can install these runtime packages on any BC18 system but I can't install them on a BC17 or a BC16 system. You need separate runtime packages for that. So now the last extension is installing and Right now everything is installed, everything has been installed properly, so that's good. Let's open Business Central and see if everything runs properly. So open the Business Central 18 runtime sandbox. And in there you will notice I now have the 4NAV menu option so I can open my 4NAV standard reports. 4NAV will ask me if I want to set it up with default values, and yes I do. which will set everything up for me so I can at least show you guys how to run a report. There we go. Let's grab the customer list because it's the first one in the list and run it. There we go. So that one previews properly. You will notice that all the fonts are correct because I've uploaded the fonts to my Docker system. If I hadn't done that, all of this would have been printed in uh, in a true type backup font. So all of this is fine. And of course I can open the report in the 4NAV designer. And with the 4NAV designer, I can, stall, I can start designing my reports. There we go. There's the report. I can design it, preview it just the way I would with any other 4NAV report. So those are that's how to build a Docker installation for development and testing uh, purposes. Once we've all that, we can finally build our uh, set up our build and test system. And for demonstration purposes, I will skip the building of my extension because that's not part of the 4NAV runtime packages. I will just build my Docker container with the 4NAV runtime packages and the build version of an extension with the dependency on the 4NAV customizable report pack. Once all is built, I will run my test autom tests automatically. So once again, we'll go back to our PowerShell scripts and we'll examine our Docker test script. And right here, you will notice that, of course, I need to set up my uh, Business Central server first. And this, this particular Business Central server includes the test toolkit. 
um, and I need a test toolkit in order to run my automated tests. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same as before. And as before, of course, I've set up this, uh, this Docker container before uh, because especially these tests, um, the test toolkit takes forever to install. And that would mean it will be a very long, boring uh, coffee break if I would do if I would demonstrate all of that. So once the uh, Docker container has been installed, I will install my three uh, four nav extensions. So the four nav language module, the four nav core, and the four nav customizable report pack. I'm going to skip the installation of the 4NAV service app because this particular Docker container is only ever used to uh, run my automated tests. I'm never going to use it to, dem to, um, uh, to demonstrate or run 4NAV reports. I'm not going to design the 4NAV reports. I just want to see if my automated tests run. So once the 4NAV apps have installed, I can install my, uh, my application with a dependency on 4NAV. And this, uh, the Red and Bundle Multiple Report Layout Selector, is an app source extension that actually um, that's available on App Source, which has a dependency on 4NAV. So uh, this is actually my uh, uh, one of the scripts that I use in order to run my uh, my test. It's a production script. So I install this app. Then I'm going to install the Multiple Report Layouts Tests, which is a test app which contains the automated tests. And finally, I'm going to run the tests in the NAV container. Uh, and the test suite is the test suite that I've defined in my multiple layouts test application. So ensure this has been switched off and run the script. Now running this script is pretty similar to, uh, to running the script we did before, only this time it's uh, installing some more applications and it will be running some tests. There we go again. So that was the report pack. Now you'll see the uh, multiple report layout selector is being published and the tests are being published. And after this, we should start, script should start, should start running the tests. This particular test suite contains two, uh, two code units, the red layout selection test and the red layout import export test. Which should all succeed because I haven't made any changes to it and this has been published to AppSource for a while. So everything is done now. So what uh, my script has done is it's installed my, uh, my 4NAV runtime packages. It's installed my uh, my application, which has a dependency on 4NAV. And finally, it has run my automated tests. And it has told me that everything has tested OK. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to see what runtime packages are and what we can do with them. And once we knew that, we could create a Docker system for development purposes. Finally. We ran a fully automated test of an extension with a dependency on the 4NAV report pack. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, we don't have qu any questions at the moment, so I'll continue with wrapping up this coffee break. If you want to know more about 4NAV, please visit 4NAV.com. If you want to uh, download the 4NAV designer, uh, you can do that from 4NAV.com slash download. And if you want to use uh, 4NAV in a Business Central Cloud environment, you can install it from Microsoft App Source. More videos about 4NAV will be on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 4NAV report. And if you have any questions uh, after watching this coffee break, or if you want to request the runtime packages, please visit support at 4NAV.com. We will continue our 4NAV coffee breaks. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. 
with that, we're at the end of this coffee break. Thank you very much for listening to me so far, and I will see you at the next coffee break. Goodbye.